Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about a rumour in regards to Superman showing up in the season or series finale of Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So as you guys know, we are going into the final stretch of Supergirl. We have four more episodes, including tonight's episode, my review will be posting tomorrow, pretty much like right after the episode comes out, so be on the lookout for that. But nevertheless, Supergirl has four episodes left, and we are approaching the finale. We know Lex Luthor is showing up, he just showed up at the end of last episode, he's going to be in tonight's episode heavily. And lots of questions have been going in about like, who is going to show up in the series finale. So, as of right now, the three returning cast members that we've got confirmed, excluding Lex, because Lex is coming in, you know, tonight's episode and he returned last episode, we have Chris Wood, Macar Brooks, and Jeremy Jordan playing their respective characters, Monel, James, and Wynn. But there's still been an ongoing speculation about Superman showing up in the series finale, because after all, Superman Lois is the continuation of Supergirl post when Supergirl is going to end because at the end of the day it is a continuation and it is a spin-off off of Supergirl because Tyler Hoechlin Superman first showed up in Supergirl so he is a Supergirl character originally just like The Flash like Barry Allen is an Arrow character originally because he showed up there first so there's been speculation about Superman showing up in that final episode because it makes a lot of sense that you would have the cousin of Supergirl showing up and you know he's Superman he's very important but it seems like there's been some rumors going around and we have official confirmation if he's going to be showing up or not so there was a bunch of episode descriptions that were posted online and basically people went crazy because it seemed like Tyler Hoechlin Superman was confirmed to show up in the two-hour series finale but in fact my friend and he did this recently with the Supergirl HBO Max TV show Andy Bechtad from Screen Rant and also he does his own podcast has confirmed with his CW sources that and I quote Supergirl fans I know that there have been episode descriptions mentioning Tyler Hoechlin Superman being in the two hour series finale but I just confirmed with the CW he's not appearing at all the listing of him was not part of the CW's official press listings spread the word so yeah it's pretty much confirmed the rumors about him showing up in the finale are false and this is coming from the CW themselves obviously and he's got some sources there while this is a shame I don't think it's that expected that this turned out to be false because we saw how hectic it was trying to get in even like three cast members and you know they haven't even been able to do the proper crossovers and I mean the only time that they've been lenient and let in other people is with the Armageddon crossover event but that filmed after Supergirl series finale and also there was potential for some crossover of like maybe Grant Gustin showing up in the Supergirl finale which would make a lot of sense considering their heavy connection throughout the Arrowverse and throughout their time being on TV but he's not even going to show up and that is because Melissa didn't stick around in Vancouver long enough to show in like the Flash's Armageddon crossover event and also I think Grant was shooting when they were filming for Supergirl's series finale so he couldn't even show up. So it's not surprising that Superman doesn't show up in this because scheduling would have been pretty hard considering Superman Lois does have a full on schedule so that means Tyler is pretty much working all day every day as Superman and you know they were finishing season one and now they're on to season two and I don't think he had many breaks at all so I guess he needed that break and I don't know I don't have the behind the scenes information if Tyler Hoechlin was reached out to in regards to coming and showing up in the series finale but I don't think it would have worked out anyway so yeah at the end of the day it is a big shame he's not actually showing up or the flash isn't showing up or Green Arrow, but I mean Green Arrow is dead, Oliver's not going to show up in the Supergirl series finale, but at least we have some original cast members coming back in the form of Chris Wood, Macabre Brooks, and Jeremy Jordan, as previously mentioned. So I'm really looking forward to the finale, nevertheless, even with no Superman, and again, I know that a lot of you guys are probably upset about this, especially because, you know, he's such a popular character, and... Really, he is pivotal to what goes on in Supergirl, 
and right now obviously they can't reveal much about Supergirl and the way that is going to be ending even though we're going into the final four episodes it's very likely that Supergirl is either going to go to the future or go off world as a way to give her a happy ending that Melissa Benoist actually asked for well we know she was allowed to ask like one or two things in regards to how Supergirl ends because she's had such a big part in playing Supergirl and you know coming up with the stories and being a part of it rather than just the writers straight up doing it for her so yeah I definitely think there is a possibility she goes to the future with Monel because Monel is obviously in the finale he's time travel wins time travel so you can kind of infer from that that they are going to go back to the future and we need a reason for Supergirl not to be available in the Arrowverse and what would be the best reason well, send her to the future, maybe she wants to go to the future, join the Legion of Superheroes and maybe settle down there. So, I guess it is very possible that when mon and Wynn go back to the future, they will take Supergirl with them. In regards to Argo, very possible because Kara's dad literally just went back to Argo to meet his mum. So it's possible that she wants to go back to that little piece of Krypton that survived so that she can kind of live out her days and retire being Supergirl. Or maybe she'll be Supergirl of Argo City. Maybe she'll be their hero rather than Earth's hero. Because I do think with Supergirl gone, National City isn't just going to be left cold. Obviously, there are going to be replacements, like Nia is going to be the hero in National City. You've got Brainy and everyone else on Team Supergirl are still going to be there. But I think specifically, Dreamer is probably going to be the main hero who will protect National City while Supergirl is gone. But in regards to the Superman thing, I just want to say a last couple of things. I do think it's a bit of a shame that Kara won't meet her nephews. And, you know, there was a lot of debate in Superman Lower Season 1, like, is it part of the Arrowverse? Is it not part of the Arrowverse? And obviously with Diggle showing up, they confirmed, yes, it is part of the Arrowverse in the main timeline, but they just made some changes in order to suit their own needs and their own show. So, like, the fortress looks different. That's just, like, an aesthetic thing. And then also the nephews of Kara are actually much older than... They were depicted in Crisis and Infinite Earths because in Crisis they were babies, but now they are full-on teenagers, so they just kind of took that liberty and retconned what was set up before, but that was given the go-ahead by the people at Supergirl, the showrunners, so I don't think it's a big deal, and yes, they are breaking kind of rules and breaking reality in a way, but I still think it would be nice to see Kara meeting her nephews. And maybe at some point in the future, Melissa does come back as Supergirl. And that's when you'll see this reunion of the cousins and also Kara meeting her nephews. Presumably for the first time, however, if they're that old, you would kind of suspect maybe she wanted to meet her nephews during their childhood, right? Otherwise, that's pretty bad in terms of being an aunt. But we'll just have to wait and see if Melissa does show up and if Superman and Supergirl cross over for one final time, maybe sometime in the future, like maybe two seasons from now on Superman Lois, you'll have like a cameo from Melissa as Supergirl. Maybe she's bored of not being Supergirl, maybe she misses it and she's like, yeah, I want to come back. I'll do a crossover and she shows up and it's awesome and you get to see her fighting alongside Superman and Superboy once again. Again, that is just me speculating and sort of putting words where hopefully they will put their money but we'll see how it goes in the future anyway sorry for the rambling but i do have lots of hopes and dreams about like maybe supergirl coming back in the future and although as i've said many times throughout this video it is a big shame superman isn't showing up in the finale because after all he is a supergirl character I'm not surprised at all, considering that as far as we know, Grant has shot nothing as The Flash and they were supposedly very good friends and it's pretty much gone nowhere since the pandemic and that's obviously because of restrictions, but that also limits, you know, the greater world of the Arrowverse and their friendships because they've pretty much been cut off and that's what's good about Armageddon. It's great to see all these characters finally interacting once again. But thank you guys so much for watching, that about does it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.